Hello everyone, I warmly welcome you to this special video. It's great to have you back with us. On the table in front of me is one of Makita's most well-known 18-volt cordless angle grinders, the DGA-504. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this device and some of you might even own it because it's a truly powerful, extremely robust and compact cordless angle grinder. However, in today's video, we won't be extensively examining this angle grinder from the outside or testing it, as I've already introduced and tested this device separately before. I'll link the video up here on the top right corner of the screen. Instead, in today's video, I suggest we take a look inside this device. This means for those of you who have ever wondered what the inside of a brushless cordless angle grinder looks like and what's inside, we'll thoroughly explore that in today's video. This device will be disassembled into its individual parts as much as possible in this video. I hope you're as excited as I am, so let's not waste any time. Let's start right after the intro. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to never miss a video in the future. You can find the current prices of the device in the video description below. Thank you for your support, and with that, let's get started after the intro. The Makita DGA504, truly an excellent cordless angle grinder. It's compact, robust, powerful, and all of this at a fair price. So much for the external features. In today's video, we want to take a look inside the device, and for that, we need to completely open up the angle grinder. Without a doubt, it's important to mention that you should not attempt to do this yourself. As if you start tinkering with your angle grinder, the manufacturer's warranty will be voided. That's why I've sacrificed this device for you so that we can take a detailed look inside the angle grinder. So far, so good. Let's dive right into the device. The first and most important thing we need to do before we start messing with the angle grinder is to remove the battery. Also, remove the nut, the grinding disc, and the mounting flange on the other side. Next, we move on to the side handle. It's attached to the angle grinder only by a thread, and then, of course, we need to remove the metal protective cover, which is quite handy here. The DGA504 features a quick-release mechanism, meaning we can remove the cover without tools. And now we have the bare device in front of us. For further disassembly, we now need a crosshead or flathead screwdriver. In this regard, I'll now proceed to dismantle the angle grinder's metal gearbox. For that, there are four small black crosshead screws on the front. And with that, the gearbox is now separated from the rest of the angle grinder and can be removed. This is how it looks from the inside. What's special about the Makita angle grinder is that we can easily adjust and reassemble the gearbox in 90 degree increments. This means, for example, if you prefer the cutting disc on the left side rather than on the bottom, you can simply remove the gearbox here at the front, rotate it 90 degrees accordingly, and screw it back in place. The angle grinder is still operational, but the handling has changed significantly. Just a brief adjustment. Taking a closer look at the gearbox head, you can see that it's very high quality. It's made entirely of die-cast aluminum and is correspondingly heavy. I've taken the scale to weigh it briefly. Let's do a quick weight check. And as you can see, the head already weighs almost 500 grams. Regarding the functional principle, you can see very clearly at this point how the force is transferred to the cutting disc. This means the drive shaft is located at the front. It obviously comes directly from the motor behind it, goes into the gearbox, and drives the spindle at the front. On the front, there are four small crosshead screws, which I'll now remove. Said and done. These four screws are now removed, and we can further disassemble the gearbox. And this is how it looks from the inside. As you can see here in yellow, the gearbox is indeed generously lubricated to ensure it runs smoothly without wear and tear in the long term. Furthermore, you can see no discoloration, no large metal chips or metal wear, meaning the angle grinder is still practically brand new. 
And also noticeable here in black, there's a very small rubber seal, which also ensures that no dirt from the outside enters the gearbox, preventing long-term damage. Otherwise, of course, included is this small black metal pin down here. This is for locking the cutting disc. This means there are three small indentations on the spindle or on the drive wheel of the spindle where the pin locks and thus locks the cutting disc in the front. Looking at it up close, there's nothing to complain about here either. In terms of build quality and manufacturing, it's extremely precise and high quality. Here at the front, the ball bearing, as evident, is also very well lubricated. This means before the gearbox fails, the motor would give out. There's nothing more to see or disassemble at this point, so let's move on to the actual angle grinder. For that, we now need the crosshead screwdriver again, and on the other side of the device, we find a total of one, two, three, four, five crosshead screws. That's it. These five screws are now removed. Theoretically, it should now be possible to open the casing. I'd say let's give it a try. Very nice. So here it is from the inside. The 18-volt brushless cordless angle grinder from Makita, the DGA504. I would suggest let's start with the casing from the inside. If you take a closer look at this, you'll find the designation PA6GF, which, which means that we have here a polyamide apparently also reinforced with fiberglass. This is an extremely robust and resistant plastic. You can feel it when bending the casing. This plastic part gives a very high quality and sturdy impression. On the other side, the integrated technology of the angle grinder might seem quite complex at first glance, but when you look at it more closely, it becomes quite understandable. I would suggest let's start all the way back at the angle grinder where the power comes in. That means here at the contact plate, as we know it from all the other Makita devices, there are a total of three pins. We have plus, minus, and certainly the control pin. Directly in front of it is this small board, the so-called motor control, because since we have a brushless motor installed here, which is significantly more complex than a regular brushed motor, we need a control unit that controls and operates the motor accordingly. This small board, located at the back and equipped with aluminum on the back side to enhance heat dissipation, is the heart of the angle grinder in a brushless motor. If this motor were to be defective, the motor would, of course, be non-functional as well. However, this should occur in the rarest of cases, because if you take a close look at the board, you'll see that it's definitely well-crafted. Here, where all the cables and contacts enter, the entire board is glued, meaning it's sealed here as well. No water or dirt can get in, ensuring that the control unit is very well-protected. What I also find very interesting at this point is the battery level indicator, which is located here at the bottom, and as you can see, the embedded LEDs are directly on this control board. This means there's no additional small board that runs into this. Everything is integrated into this main component. From here, we move on to the built-in switch for activating the angle grinder. This one is in brown, and you can see it's a slide switch. This means there's a small switch at the front for activation, and when I push it forward, you can see the switch being activated internally. This switch can also be removed, and let's take a closer look at it as well. As you can see, there are a total of four connections on the bottom and a button on the top that allows the angle grinder to be activated. It's just a button that doesn't lock in this position. The whole process is controlled here at the front by this small plastic switch, and as evident, the button is covered with a rubber cap to prevent dirt from entering here as well. Lastly, we come to the second crucial component, which is the built-in brushless motor at the very front. And this is the entire integrated technology of the angle grinder. As mentioned before, not much here at the front except for the brushless motor. This motor can also be further disassembled, the brushless motor consists of a rotor and a stator, meaning if I pull on it, I can also remove the rotor. The motor itself also appears quite solid, and in this state, 
The operational principle is especially visible. We have all the coils inside that are regularly or alternately flooded with current. This creates an alternating magnetic field which ultimately causes the rotor to start rotating. The rotor itself has two ball bearings, one down here at the bottom and one up here in the aluminum casing toward the gearbox. This means these two ball bearings center the rotor in the stator. What else is there to see here? Of course, in black, a kind of fan blade that provides fresh air to the motor and cools it accordingly. Yes, and there's really nothing major left to show. We've now completely disassembled the entire angle grinder into its individual parts. Now I'll try to reassemble the device completely, hoping that it'll work again afterwards. And now I'm eager to hear your feedback. What do you think of this video? Do you perhaps have more knowledge? Additional experiences about specific points? Feel free to write them down in the comments below. I appreciate every piece of feedback. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you liked it, please show your support with a thumbs up, and if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to this channel and activating the notification bell to not miss any future videos. You can find the current prices to support this channel in the video description below. Thank you for your regular support, and with that, take care until next time. Goodbye.